hello everyone today we are going to work on this outline effect in Unreal Engine 5 so as you can see here we are going to implement a post process material that renders an outline for selected objects uh, the, that we need to render outlines so yeah, let's see how to implement this today. Okay, so we are going to implement the post process, uh, the outline effect using a post process material. So in order to add post process materials, first we need to have a post process volume in the C. So let me add one and then under this post process volume settings i'll make it in finite extent so that it will be applied uh, throughout the whole world and then i'll add a post process material here under rendering features so i don't have any post process materials yet so i'll create one m pp outline right now here i'll set the asset reference and add it okay now here let's start implementing the material so first Thing I have to do is I have to change the material domain to post process to make it uh, working with the post process. So we only have the emissive color, and since I haven't applied anything to the emissive color, you can see your thing is black, right? Now, if I promote this to a vector parameter color and let's add red now you see everything is red okay so these are just basics so and also if i use uh, scene texture and here if I use uh, post process input and connect it, you get the same image as as it is. We don't have any effects, right? So put this aside, okay? And here we can also get. Uh, let me duplicate this this custom depth and if I connect it here you see it's all white so since we are not rendering anything in the custom depth we don't see any difference so if I change this into scene depth and apply this is also a still white because the depth is larger than one so if i divide this with let's say thousand or ten thousand you can see now here in this preview this uh, sphere is black because the depth is less than thousand so less than ten thousand so we get some value closer to zero that's why this part becomes black and the rest becomes white see we can see the same effect here and the custom depth means i only need to display this uh, outline only for selected uh, object so let me select this cube 
and enable rendering in custom depth it should to be under custom depth here i enabled it for testing similarly select this character mesh and also enable render custom depth pass and then instead of this scene depth connect custom depth okay now everything is black here in this preview oh wait didn't i select oh sorry keep this selected and instead of c and depth choose custom depth now as you can see everything is white but if i go here now you see the character and this object is black right so that means we have now we do have a way to distinguish the objects that we are interested in so right so here <coughs> if i do a clamp between zero and one and use uh, no now this becomes something in between zero and one and then uh if i do uh hold on uh, we don't need to do that yet so still you don't see any difference because zero in zero means black and one means white okay right now if i do a linear interpolate with this color and with this post process input using this one as the alpha Ah, float four. Okay, let me do a component mask here to get only RGB. Right now, you see we do get the normal color, and in here you can see this uh, objects that I have enabled custom depth rendering. They are red, and the rest is the normal color so if we can get only the edges of these objects uh, that means here instead of making them all black if we can make only these edges black we would be able to render an outline but how can we do that right so that's the next step so for that we can try let's get another custom depth node <coughs> and then uh, here for the uvs let's get a screen position and in this viewport UV, let's add. Uh, uh, so we need to move only the only in the horizontal direction. So let's do an append append vector. Oh, one more thing. This viewport UV. Mm -hmm. Let's do a component mask with R and G. So here R means X coordinate, G means Y coordinate. <coughs> and by appending some value, let's promote this one to a parameter. I'll call it X offset. 
and this one promote to a parameter i'll keep it as zero so this would be y offset but for now i am only interested in x offset so let's make an offset of well since this is the uv coordinate this will be changing from zero to one so here if i use a very small value for like 0 0.001 and add it here and connect to this uv what we would be getting is the same object with an offset so let's just connect this here and preview you see uh you don't see much well let me change this value like this 0 0.01 see now the object selection outline is here but the actual uh silhouette of the object has some offset so so that's because of the offset that i have given here to this uv input and if i multiply this one with uh, same excel size texel wait texel same texel size yeah then i would be able to use uh, some values like something between one two three five something like that so as the offset i'll use five and i'll change the name to line or outline thickness this is going to be the thickness of the outline that we are going to render okay this also has to do a component mask get only r ah uh, hold on if i do this multiplication for the oh no it doesn't matter right now if i apply this this is how it looks you can see the offset here all right and uh, if i do a subtraction between these two this is what we get see we get one side of the uh, edge of these objects so if i use the absolute value here i should get the other side too let's see see now we have two edges but this is only in horizontal direction so to get the vertical edges we have to do the same operation with the y offset so for that we will have to have the same setup mm. here <coughs> let's multiply sorry duplicate the same setup and get this append all right here let's do a mask do a component mask and this time mask g then uh 
multiply it with the thickness outline thickness and keep first input as zero and second input as this one right now similarly subtract the two values uh, and do the absolute value and connect here we should get the same effect but vertically see we don't have the effect for horizontal lines uh, the vertical lines uh, but uh, we have the effect for the horizontal lines so if I add these two together now I should have the complete outline see now we do have a complete outline for the objects that we are interested in and then here now all I have to do is connect this love value because we have already have the outline and apply oh sorry we have to interchange these inputs to get the outline now apply cool now we have a outline see mm, yeah so if you want to decrease the thickness you can use reduce this great so that's how you write an outline uh, material in Unreal Engine 5. So I'm going to use this method to render outlines for the binocular system that I'm going to work on in the third person shooter series. So here is the full snapshot of the material. Okay, and uh, thanks for watching. As always, project files will be available for the download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.